Twilight time. Twilight time. Twilight time. There was way too much of Diamond Tiara in this episode. There's too much of her whenever she's involved. One? Oh, God. I was really hoping Twilight would just explode on her for being rude. Uh. I really just want to punch her every time she appears on the screen. Twilight time. Especially after the Scootaloo episode, I can't help but rage when I see her. Yeah. That was just low. That was low. But back to this episode. Yes. First of all, don't you think Scootaloo would be able to fix a scooter? You would think. It's her name. Yeah, you would think. Instead, she's practicing on the unicycle. And did she keep Scoot, uh, Pip Squirrel? Yeah, she keep Pip Squirrel? In my head, Kane, she stole it. She stole it. He deserved it. Stole his scooter. You guys into this mess, kid? All those nachos! All those nachos and What is he mad about? It's all for them now! And all that guacamole. But it's all for them now! If I had a pile of nachos like that right now, I'd be pigging out. Of course you would. I love nachos. Yeah. Spike made nachos. Spike made nachos. But yeah, that was a good episode. I put it in my middle tier. Middle tier? Yeah, I wouldn't put it up towards the top, but it was, well, Diamond Tiara brought it down a few pegs, too. Yeah. Spike being she there. She tends to do that. Ugh, I really hate her. I wish she just stopped showing up entirely. Like, really, she's the only character in the show I really hate. That you really hate? Yes. Hate. Wow. I wish she was dead. Eh, that's understandable. I was hoping she'd break her neck trying to do acrobatics, but instead she made her thousand-year-old butler do it. And then took all the credit by just pushing him out of the way. Poor butler. How did the kids fall for that? In my head canon, his name is Alfred. Alfred? Yes. Because he's a butler. <laughs> of and course. Secretly a superhero. Jeez. But anyway... Uh, <laughs> Twilight Eating, too. What uh, were we yeah. talking about? Which one of them? Wipe off your, uh... Spare yeah. napkin. Spare napkin. Just, uh, spare napkin. Buy another burger to wipe you, uh, to use as a second napkin. <laughs> the way Twilight was eating. Oh, God. I feel like she might have had a little smoke before she went there. <laughs> she said it's been forever since she went to Hay Burger. It's been a while since I've been... No, we went Mc, to Burger King last time. Make Hay Burger. Yeah. And Pip. He annoys me. Yeah. That's my scooter! That made me laugh, though. I don't know why. Hey, you got us into this mess, kid. And Sco Scooter. Twilight time. Let's face it. Scooter will need a Oh, what do you think of the concept of Twilight time? I think it's excellent. Twilight teaching the Cutie Mark Crusaders. And they're actually going for real skills. Yeah. Like, they're not just willy-nilly chasing Cutie Mark. I feel like it was a betrayal on their part to start bringing other kids in, because she was doing that just to help them out. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that that's something that I was disappointed in the Cutie Mark Crusaders for. I don't know. I could see her be wanting to be the teacher. Yeah. She should be a teacher. Mm -hmm. She was taught by Celestia. Luna's sister. Yeah, she was taught by Celestia. No, I don't hate Celestia. Celestia's, Celestia's great. Just because of that one scene with the T. Yeah. She just... <laughs> Seriously. Celestia is great, just not as cool as Luna. But, back to what I was saying. That was a betrayal. Do you enjoy the royal cantaloupe voice? <laughs> that was hilarious. Great yeah. But, you know, I do feel like that they betrayed Twilight a little bit there. And she was doing that kind of just for them, and they just decided, oh, well, we're going to just be, be cool instead. Yeah. And they should really understand by now that it's not important to be cool. In fact, it's kind of a dumb thing. Oh, everybody likes me. I'm Kiara. Please don't say that name. Silver Spoon. That name doesn't bother me as much. I just feel bad Silver for her. Silver Spoon and her unfortunate friend. Mm-hmm. I feel like Silver Spoon is just kind of follows her around because that's just all she's ever done. Yeah. They oh. seem to be the only two ponies from the same cloth. I enjoy Sweetie Belle's moment in her head, though, when she's spinning her around. Mm -hmm. You have no idea how much I enjoyed that. I really want to see her do that for real, but instead reach down her throat and pull her inside out. Dude, why seven? I'm aware, and I can think what I want, because I just hate her so much. Mm. Hate! Hate! Okay. Moving on. Yeah. 
I feel like we're not seeing much of Twilight Sparkle in this season, aside from the first episode in this. Nah, we're actually getting more of a view of everything else around. I just can't get past the way she was eating. That was great. Oh, God. That's like how I eat when I'm really, really hungry because I'm really, really hungry. Yeah. Remember the time I spent $25 on Money Taco? Mm-hmm. Well, Actually, what? I don't think I was there. No, you were there. Was I? It was that infamous time when I slept through that episode three times. Oh, yeah. And I ate $25 worth of Mighty Taco and didn't remember it until I found the receipt later and was disgusted with myself. Mm. I was wondering where my money went. But that's kind of what that made me think of. And that's why I made that little joke. Right. But this episode was pretty good. This and was a... It was the Keaton Mark Crusader episode. I do like them. Yeah, that took a while, but they grew on me. Yeah, it's good to Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle. And Sweetie Belle's still squeaky. Yeah, well, if she wasn't, she wouldn't be as, she wouldn't be as enjoyable. Well, actually, the uh, voice actress is actually starting to age a little. Mm. See, in Equestria, there is no aging. No, they, they get older. But how old is Granny Smith? She's got to be two or three hundred years old. I don't know. They say that Ponyville's hundreds of years old and she was at the founding of it. Yeah. So, like, there's aging, but it's really, 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 really slow. And so it seems. Speaking of which, random discussion for the episode. Now that Twilight's an alicorn, is she going to age? Like, do they age slower? I'm not sure. I mean, we know Luna and Celestia Actually, don't age. the showrunners did say that uh, Twilight will not outlive her friends. Oh, okay. So, only natural alicorns don't age. Or maybe there's even something special with them. I guess. Maybe it's just because, like, they have some kind of power, aside from being alicorns. The sun and the moon? Yeah. Maybe they're, like, somehow connected with it, and those things are ageless, as you know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Possibly. I could I? I couldn't say either. I could, I could guess. Say, here's another random discussion. What if, uh, what if Celestia had to be banished to the sun? I had actually thought of that before. The only way I could see it happening is if somehow that nightmare force took her over. Maybe which would be terrifying. Maybe there would be a daytime variation. A face in the sun? No, a I, praise. A sudden pride. See? Instead of fear taking hold, it's... Your own pride. I don't see Luna ruling the whole kingdom, though. Nah, I don't think she would be able... I don't think she could rule a lot. I feel like Twilight would take over for her. Really? Yeah. I mean, I feel like she'd have an ex- exceedingly difficult time with it, but I feel like that's who she would pick. With every single panic attack possible. Oh, yeah. But I think she I don't know. I think Princess Cadence might be a possibility, too. Yeah. But I feel like despite panic attacks, freaking out, and lots of slapstick comedy, I think Twilight can handle it. Yeah. I really do. I feel like Luna would be basically useless for a while just because of the whole thing that she had to send her sister to the sun. Mm. I can't imagine that would be easy. The sudden depression. Yeah, well... I don't know. How would they even manage to send her away to the sun? I don't know. I still feel like... It would be the nightmare energy, because nightmare to me just means a terrible thing. I'm just curious as to how they would banish it. I don't know. Eh. They'd find a way. Let, let's just say they'd find a way. Uh, yeah, there's... Or maybe they get the elements back. There's most likely a way. Actually, I know there is a way. Don't tell me anything if it's a spoiler. I'm not. That would be terrifying. That is all the way at the end of season four. Celestia in a Nightmare Moon situation would be utterly terrifying. Look how powerful Luna was. Celestia is like... Wow, that would be horrifying. Mm-hmm. That would probably be the most horrifying thing ever. That would be like a series ender. I don't know. Maybe not a series. Uh, it would definitely be an arc starter. It would. They'd have to find a way to get her back and separate her from it. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I don't even, Really, I don't even want to think about that. Because it would be like... She'd be vaporizing people for Buck's sake. Oh, God. And I'd imagine her, instead of having the booming voice, because you think about it, the night is subtlety, so Nightmare Moon has that booming voice. I think she'd speak quietly and creepily. 
My children, you dare to challenge my power. The dawn is rising. A new dawn. A new dawn approaches. Roaches? Approaches. Oh, and I thought you said a new dawn of roaches. Yes, a new dawn of roaches. They're going oh to scurry away from the daylight. Legitimately, this thought terrifies me. I can't even imagine how you'd fight something like that. Or how you'd survive, how you'd get away from something like that. The sun sees all. So does the moon. True. True. So getting away with it would be pretty similar to getting away from Nightmare Moon. Yeah. And I feel like if something took over Celestia, I honestly and truly feel like Luna is more headstrong than Celestia, mm -hmm. just by their personalities. So Celestia would be completely overthrown by it. Yeah, I Whereas, see that too. Whereas, I truly believe that Luna had some degree of control when she was Nightmare Moon. Because mm -hmm. think about it, she had all that power. She could have destroyed Celestia when she's after. She could have destroyed the main six when she, was, when she came back, but right. she didn't. I feel like she was keeping it in check to an extent. Mm -hmm. Like after it took over, maybe she realized, oh, this might have been a bad idea. Which is half the yeah. things I do. I think we're getting on a tangent, though. This is a good tangent. Yeah. I think this would be interesting. Terrifying, but interesting. But yes, Twilight Time... Twilight Time, it was an okay episode. I think this is one of our best look tangents at, ever. Got a good look at the kids. True. Like, there's a lot of new kids in Ponyville. Hey, that's my yeah. scooter! And the return of Pip. Yeah. Eh, I didn't care. We haven't him. seen him in a while. The only thing is he reminded me of the Halloween episode, which was a Luna episode. Yeah. yeah that, was all, the, that was the only time he showed up. The funny thing is, I was actually thinking earlier today when we were talking about the show, I was wondering if he was going to show up that looks like Fry. Fry. Pony J. Fry. Yeah, there's a pill. There's a Pony J. Fry. What, what is it with Matt Groening in the middle initial J? Uh -huh. Homer J. Simpson, Philip J. Fry? I don't know. Bender Bending Rodriguez? What was Bender Bending Rodriguez? That's his real, that's his legitimate yeah, real know. name. B.B. Rodriguez. Yeah, I know. I love Bender, he's awesome, but let's get stick to this. Well, this is this is related, because we had Phil, or Pony J. Fry. Pony J. Fry, you were sticking with that one? Yes. Listen. He had a mark of a hamburger, too. Yes! Listen, DHX, you bring Billy West into this, and you bring Fry into this, I don't care what you have to do. Oh, God. Yes. Can you do a Billy West? Billy West? Can you do his voice? You mean... Huh? Billy West is... is Fry's Billy West. Who was um, also Ren and Stimpy? I'd have to re-listen to it. I can't do his voice. His voice is really unique. I think Billy West has to be in the show one way or the other, because Billy West is great. Eh. But that's him as a little kid. Yeah. Totally different story. True. But this episode, I don't have much to say directly about this episode. Just, that was the most awesome tangent we ever went on. I don't yeah. care what you say. That was a great tangent. I want to see this. Yeah, being banished. Her being the sun energy thing. Whatever. What did you say to call it? Uh, the pride of the sun. No. Okay, we have Nightmare Moon. The sun would have to have its own forces that I honestly think would be fed off of pride. I still feel like that the nightmare, like the nightmare energy nightmare might be for, involved. Like the nightmare forces are based on fear. Yep. I think the sun would be pride. I feel like it would trick her by saying something like, uh, Oh, you can't pre you power. You can protect your kingdom better. With this power, you shall be the uh, you could be the only princess in Equestria. There would be no need for the second. Your sister will be free to rest. Yep, pretty much. To no longer witness the horrid atrocities. Exactly. Twilight wouldn't have to be under a bunch of pressure. Cadence, who really cares? She just rules one empire. Mm -hmm. She could rule everything. And in doing so, she could keep everybody safe. Yep. But in doing so, she'll also be vaporizing ponies. No, I don't think that would happen. No, I don't know. But I really feel like it would completely top over. Know, honestly, that's the only way that I could think of the uh, a force similar to the nightmare power actually taking hold. Yeah. Because look at what powered the nightmare force. It went on fear. It would be yeah. akin. It went on fear, but particularly the fear of rejection. I feel like the two forces... So what would be the opposite of that? Fear of losing control. That's really the only thing I can think of with Celestia. Eh, I don't really see a fear of losing control. Not control, but like being able, not being able to protect or provide for a kingdom. Eh. Kingdom isn't the right word. 
I think she Empire. Could, she could protect it pretty well on her uh, pretty well as it is. Maybe even if t- half the time it's just kind of oh throw Twilight in it and it will yeah. fig- <laughs> fix itself. You got an ancient evil waking up. Throw your student at it. Mm-hmm. But no, like it, I, I feel like it would be something like something akin to the nightmare forces. Like what was I saying? I had a thought a moment ago and it was a really good one, but I lost it mm-hmm. at this point. Some great threat comes back and she can't protect the kingdom from it, so. This thing offers to help at the cost of her soul. Nah. So because again, you can just always throw Twilight at it. Don't maybe it's something Twilight out. can't handle. Which is not a lot of things. It'd have to be a pretty big threat. Dude, they always have a Deus Ex Machina right around the corner. But what if it? It's My Little Pony. That's the only way I can think of it happening, is if for some reason they didn't have a deus ex machina at this point. Never going to happen in this show. It's got to happen. They don't have the elements of harmony now. Yeah, that's what would make it actually there. That's what would make it even more challenging. How could they take care of it without the elements? You'll see. I'll see. They still got the grand mystery box. Who knows what's in there. And welcome to the mystery box! What's in it? Balloons. Yay! Just balloons. Balloons. Whole six keys. Balloons. Hey, Pinkie Pie That's would be happy. Get. Pinkie Pie would love it. Discord would be laughing his butt off. Twilight would be pissed. She pro- she'd probably fly into a rage. Pissed? Pretty much. She'd go Super Saiyan again or Rapidash or whatever. Rapidash. She she start off just ranting. That's it. That's it. All this time, all this build up. That's it. Okay. And then she'd probably go crazy for a while. Mm-hmm. Just like catatonic with rage. I feel like Rarity wouldn't really care. Nah. Rarity wouldn't carity. Rarity wouldn't carity. Yes, I said it. Wow. Pinkie Pie would be happy because there were balloons in there. Mm-hmm. Applejack would probably just go back to work because that's what she does. Yep. Uh, Discord would be prop. Discord would have to be with them just because he'd be like, "That's the best thing ever!" <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think we mentioned. Oh, Fluttershy would go back to her animals because that's what she does. Yeah. Pretty much the only ones I see reacting are Twilight, Pinkie Pie being happy about the balloons. <laughs> Who did we miss? Uh. We said Applejack. Rarity, Fluttershy. I don't know. It depends on what they're dealing with when they finally open the box. Oh, Rainbow Dash, I feel like, would be a little upset. What do you think is... Do you honestly think that balloon's in the box? No. What do you think is in there? Something. Something? I don't know. No idea what? I don't want to take guesses. I want it to be a surprise. (laughs) Go ahead and take a guess. I won't say anything either way. Some kind of powerful thing. That's all I know. That's all I can guess. Man. That's kind of difficult. Yeah, I got nothing. It ain't easy being breezy. Yeah, and the next episodes it ain't easy being breezies. Yeah. We shall see you then. Thank you. Later.